Hi, welcome to Super Shiba. In this video, I'm going to share with you our experience from the past four years living with our Shiba Inu, Jimmy. If you are planning to own a Shiba, considering getting a Shiba Inu puppy, or are already living with your own Shiba, I am excited that you are here and look forward to hearing about your thoughts or experience as well. We will go through four elements that I think after sharing with you, you will get a better sense of what life is like living with a Shiba Inu. By taking a look at these examples, it might help you better prepare mentally about a Shiba Inu puppy that you are planning to adopt or you can compare and contrast notes if you already have a Shiba. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel where we share Shiba Inu training tips and tricks as well as live with Shiba videos. Take a moment to subscribe now so that you can get all the tips you need to raise a happy dog. Now let's get right to it. Routine our Shiba Inu, Jimmy, is a creature of habit and treasures the daily routine. He usually sleeps in and expects a morning walk by around 11 a.m. If we don't show signs that we are getting ready to walk in by noon, he gets grumpy and will walk around and visit his humans to make sure that they are aware Dago still exists if the morning walk is delayed. He will show his displeasure by sitting next to the front door if he is somehow ignored because his humans have a busier than usual morning. He will make sure to get our attention by visiting our rooms and scratching the carpet or floor. Jimmy is in a great mood right after the morning walk and will do a mini Shiba 500 or more commonly known as Zoomies, and then go have a breakfast or early lunch. Since Jimmy is a free feeder, he always expects that there is a bit of kibble in his football on the first floor of our house. If for some reason we accidentally forgot to refill the night before, he's really cute and will give you the what the heck was human thinking look and scratch his football, demanding that it be refilled. Again, we aren't joking about how Shiba Inus are creatures of habit, and you can see through the daily life that they demand predictability and stability. Jimmy expects a nice playtime usually by 3 or 4 p.m. in the yard, with his favorite balls, toys, and at least a human in the backyard with him playing fetch. He will monitor the yard for any squirrels that he needs to chase, and if the weather is nice, he prefers a nice nap on the patio or on one of our patio furnitures. Preferences Our Shiba Inu has a lot of preferences, or a better way to think about this is that this is a dog that definitely has its own independent thoughts. Most of the times, we are quite amused and will go along with it as long as it doesn't interfere with our discipline training. For example, usually Jimmy will take several predetermined walking routes around the neighborhood in a similar pattern or order. However, sometimes he will insist on a different route and will sit his ass down on an intersection unless he gets his way. Human most of the time will oblige as long as Jimmy doesn't endanger himself by a passing car and we let him basically walk us to where he wants to go. Some of Super Shiba longtime viewers can tell that Jimmy is quite spoiled and has a lot of different dog toys. However, he only has a few favorites and usually doesn't touch the other ones. For the life of us, we cannot figure out a logic behind his toy preferences, as there may be ones that are nearly identical, but apparently to him, it's quite different. 
Jimmy also has one red harness that he tolerates and will go on walks happily in. We recently got in another harness that is better for rainy weather, and he hates walking in that. Even though we triple checked and make sure it's comfortable, and that nothing from the new harness is actually physically bothering him, he just doesn't like the new harness, and will walk very slow and funny. We are still trying to get him used to it, but boy, is he stubborn. Personality. Jimmy loves trying new things. Every time we bring home groceries from the garage, he would excitedly approach us and sniff each bag that we are holding, diving his head into the bag to sniff and try to identify what his human brought back, as though the world revolves only around him. Trying new dog-friendly fruits is Jimmy's favorite thing. But you can tell that he quickly decides what is appealing to his palate, and what is something he wouldn't want to touch again. Jimmy really likes carrots and blueberries. Is still uncertain about banana, but hates raspberries. There are some popular dog food brands that we've tried in the past, where Jimmy will sniff the kibble and look back at us, which is really hilarious. And give us a look like, what are these humans thinking, offering such a thing to Doggo? We still don't get what makes him like or dislike a dog food brand, but respect his reactions and preference for consistency. These days, we have settled on Kirkland Signature Turkey Dog Food, as that seems to be the best fit for Jimmy. Our Shiba Inu loves to be in the center of everything and craves attention from other humans and dogs. Sometimes he will bark at other dogs if they ignore him while walking on the same sidewalk. If other dogs bark at him first, he will ignore them instead. It's quite funny how you can see the personalities of different dogs just by a couple of seconds of exposure. Loyalty. One thing that we really admire about our Shiba Inu Jimmy is how he shows his loyalty to us in various unique ways. Sometimes it's it's not quite obvious, but once we reflect on it, we realize it's a Shiba version of loyalty. While Jimmy still has his challenges around recall, he shows us his affection, love. And loyalty in other ways. Since Shiba Inus were originally bred for small game hunting in Japan, Jimmy always is diligent in chasing away squirrels, birds, and butterflies that may wander around our yard. Once he spots a squirrel, he will sprint towards it. And for the next few hours, we can see that he's still on the patio monitoring his territory to protect his humans. There was this one time we were walking Jimmy in a different area during a road trip, and the man who was acting strange started to approach us. Jimmy immediately was very alert and growled at the man, even though we hadn't realized that it may be a threat as the man was still quite far from us. Jimmy is always friendly with other people, but somehow he picked up. The fact that something was off about the man in the distance, we were able to take some evasive maneuvers by being more vigilant and crossing the street in time to get away from the man. Whenever one of his humans is away from home, Jimmy acts different, and it's clear that he's waiting for the human to come home. He would lay on the staircase, or sit by the door, and his ears would perk up. Any time there's a car that passes by the house, or some other noise, it's very heartwarming to see that, and very clear since he doesn't do that if both of his humans are home. Conclusion. Well, I hope that gave you a better idea of what it's like living with a Shiba Inu. Every day is filled with challenge and fun with this wonderful dog breed. 
we value all of the experiences and memories that our Shiba provides us. Sometimes we think that we are teaching each other life lessons, and that certainly deepens the bond and makes the challenges worthwhile. Do you know Jimmy also has a girlfriend? Or at least we suspect he has one. Check out the video about his girlfriend Miley spending a weekend with us and see how they interact with one another. Stay safe, my friend, and I will see you on the next one.